there welcome back rumor has it my channel has quite a few little monsters subscribed to it so today is another lady gaga video last week lady gaga and her organization the born this way foundation released a book <laughs> it is called channel kindness and that is what the entire book is about. If you didn't know, Lady Gaga and her mother, Cynthia, started the Born This Way Foundation back in 2012 with the goal, and I quote, the goal of creating a kinder and braver world. Love that, first of all, love it. If you are new to this channel, my name is Andrea. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you enjoy pop culture, music, a grand old time, you know? maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. That would mean so much to me. All right, now, now my review. So the way the book is defined is Channel Kindness is a collection of inspirational stories written by young people, as well as personal notes of empowerment from the Born This Way Foundation co-founder, Lady Gaga. To buy the book, you can visit channelkindness.org slash books. Now, that brings me to my first point. Buying this book was challenging i went to three targets and a barnes and noble and um called another barnes and noble and they were sold out and yeah it it was a lot it was a lot of hunting for this book and this is my big disclaimer of this entire video um i'm not a reader i am not good at reading i'm a very slow reader it is very frustrating to me to read but I was like determined to get this book. On September 29th, I bought this copy of the book from Barnes and Noble. It's hardcover. It's pretty large, like pretty big. It was a total $26.55. So almost $27 for this book. It was much cheaper online. So I would go to channelkindness.org slash books and look at the different places they offer it, how much is shipping compared to buying in store. Just trying to help you out here. You know, I thought that was a hefty price for a book, but is it? I mean, it's really nice quality. This is what the book looks like. It's like this teal green color, very colorful. Um, the back has like descriptions of what the book kind of entails. If, I'll just do a little flip through. See, da, 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 da. I found it very inspiring, first off. I also would like to just share before we go further that first thing you read is a content warning. It reads, content warning. The material in this book cover topics that include sexual assault, suicidal ideation and other potential triggering subjects i think it's so important that they include that like right off the bat because there were some stories that i could see being triggering to someone basically the description of the book i read a little earlier is totally totally accurate it is about 50 something stories written by fans let's be honest <laughs> everyday people who either witness acts of kindness have done acts of kindness have witnessed tragedy and have sparked kindness in them and they created organizations i mean it was really like fulfilling to read and just see inspiration all over the world in this one book i will be pointing out a couple stories that stood out to me so stay tuned for that but basically every story is about three to five pages long the book has let me tell you the exact amount 285 pages so it is packed well first of all it starts off with a letter from lady gaga which was so nice to read and can i just say how poised i think she is like she is just such a well-spoken individual and then every single story that is written has a little note from lady gaga and what is so special about these little notes is she puts resources in every single note i just love that and while i'm talking about resources the back has a full thing of resources i just think it is so important that they did that because like i said there's sensitive content in this book and it's really nice that they offer 
some sort of resource that a person reading this book can access. There are three stories I kind of wanted to point out just to give you examples of things that are talked about in this book. I'm not gonna read them or like go into full detail. I'll just summarize them really quick. First one I noted was this one. It was called The Kindness of Offering Access. It was written by Taylor M. Parker. And basically she talks about how menstrual hygiene products are not accessible to everyone which is such an issue like big issue it reads for every person who menstruates the cost at the very least seven dollars a month seven dollars a month and then if you do the math that extends to 84 dollars a year for 40 years the average length of a person who menstruates that is so damn expensive and then it goes into the story how she had a friend who couldn't afford menstrual hygiene products and would be asking her for like tampons and pads and it kind of got her thinking how many people don't have access to those products then she came in contact with a for-profit company called aunt flow claire coder is the founder definitely be sure to check out aunt flow i will link it below and in lady gaga's note so if you or someone you know needs access to these products but can't afford it please visit period or call 211 a free confidential referral and information helpline thank you lady gaga and taylor who wrote the story the second story i wanted to talk about is called the choose love movement um the story really moved me broke my heart this story was told by scarlett lewis who is a mother of a victim of the sandy hook tragedy this mother scarlett her son jesse passed away and it's basically about how hard her journey was to kind of forgive this situation not forget but forgive and um how do you take that how do you take such a tragedy and turn it into something that can bring some kindness to the world what scarlet did was start the choose love enrichment program the story reads i created a program called the choose love enrichment program that teaches young people everywhere in the world these essential life skills and how to choose love for themselves and others. And the story goes on to say how her son tried to help other students escape from the shooter. And she, this is so sad to read, um, how in his final moments, he was trying to be brave and show courage and kindness towards other people. And it, it is just so moving, this story. And I give, so much love and compassion to this mother and it is just so sad but it is so amazing that she took that sadness and turned it into a program that will bring light to so many people's lives for more information on this story and how to help the choose love organization you can visit the jesse lewis chose love movement which i will link down below lastly i would like to share this story that i really just was like, yes, yes, yes. It is called Kind Words Change Minds, Hearts, and Sometimes Society. And this is written by Connor Long. In his story, he writes all about kindness and how words that we speak influence kindness. He goes into detail about how people still use the R word, which just like really is awful and if you ever hear someone say that word make sure you are correcting them because it is hurtful and harmful to people in the story he says so my message on how to channel kindness is to ask you to think about the words you use because they may change minds and hearts we need to make our communities and society kinder and fairer for all yes i am a true believer in the language we use really impacts other people and you might not even realize it for example words in my life i don't like to use is hey guys there's more inclusive versions i don't know if you've noticed i start every single one of my videos being like hey there 
because I just think it's more inclusive than hey guys. I also try to never use the word crazy because it alludes to someone with a mental illness and I just, I would never want someone to think think I was using that word to make fun of someone with a mental illness. I just think our language is such a way we can be more inclusive. Really watch your words, you know? Just think about it. And if something doesn't sit right, apologize and correct yourself. That's my advice for the day. In Lady Gaga's note here, she mentions that to ensure a more inclusive community that respects and protects the rights of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, please visit the ARC and connect with your local chapter. So I will also link that down below. Those are the three stories I wanted to highlight from Channel Kindness. Reading this book made me realize that there are endless, endless opportunities to spread kindness and be nice to people around us. There is so much kindness to be learned and given and received. And this book just really opened my eyes to that. My final review of Channel Kindness is I like sat down and like read this book. I personally think that if you are watching this, this is kind of more of a coffee table book. I think it is something to be read maybe like when you're having a bad day, like leave it out in the open so it's like there to remind you and just flip it open to any page. If you're having a bad day or you like need a boost or you just wanna do something kind, I mean, there's plenty of ideas in here for kind acts. <laughs> there is work to be done and kindness to be given. <laughs> Thank you to the people who shared their stories because seriously, without it, I mean, they wouldn't have a book. So it takes a lot of vulnerability and braveness to share these stories. There are so many kinds of stories. I just touched on three in this video. But again, if you would like to purchase this book, I will link that in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please hit the subscribe button and comment below an act of kindness you have received or given this week. Maybe we can share some ideas. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you Saturday for another video. Bye.